All right, welcome back. What's going on, family? I pray all is well with everybody as we off top give the most high y'all all the honor, the glory, and death for y'all. Praise and worship and reverence belongs to our Heavenly Father. Uh, my title says Pastor Charles Dow versus um, Pastor Geno Jennings. This is actually a video response back to um, all of the emails. Um, I said, let me just make this one video here for, every, for everybody to see it. Um, and let me say this off the top. Nobody knows it all. Nobody knows it all. I don't care what seminary school you went to, whether you went to seminary school or not. Um, we are not all knowing. And there are a lot of debates and a lot of arguments going on. Um, when you say Charles Dow, Pastor Charles Dow, the straightway truth, and um, Geno Jennings, Pastor Geno Jennings, um, they like, two of the heavy hitters out here. Um, they name is so known. And um, everything I'm about to say, I mean out of love and respect. Uh, I've talked to Pastor Dow on the phone uh, a few years back. I even made a um, song for him with Straightway Truth. Uh, and I love both of these brothers, uh, both of these men of the Holy Spirit. They are very powerful. Um, but see, the thing is, some people are waiting on this because they're waiting on entertainment. And then some waiting on this to see who's going to really win. And then some just don't care at all. Because the thing is, the fact of the matter is, you got a lot of people that hate Pastor Geno Jennings. You got a lot of people that hate Pastor Charles, Charles Dial of Straightway Truth. You got people that have their favorites. Um, I, I've heard people call Pastor Dial a cult. Um, I've had people that I've talked to that have left straightway truth, that talk bad about straightway truth. I hear a lot of people say the same thing about Pastor Geno Jennings. So you got people that have their favorites, they're going to love one and hate the other. But I have um, nothing against neither of these brothers. Uh, but see, here's the thing. Y'all ask me in the email, what do I think going to get accomplished? Nothing. Nothing. Because Pastor Gino is not going to change Pastor Charles Dow thinking on nothing. Neither one of them is going to change each other, other thinking on, on, on what's about to go down. See, a lot of people waiting on this debate. They love it. And I'm going to tell you why it's not going to solve nothing anyway, prove nothing anyway, because first of all, here you have Pastor Dow. It's just my opinion, y'all. Y'all don't have to agree with me on this. If you agree, fine. If you don't agree, you disagree, that's fine. No love lost her. Love you anyway. But here's the thing you got to look at. Pastor Dow. Pastor Dow is going to come with a straight up, straight way. Hebrew Israelite teaching. Because Pastor Dow will teach you that you are an Israelite. Talking about us now. Gino, I've heard Pastor Gino plenty of times say that he's a Gentile. That's going to be an argument off top. But they're not arguing, they're not talking about that in this particular debate they supposed to have because it's supposed, this is supposed to be about marriage and divorce and polygamy, or some may pronounce it different. Having more than one wife, which is Charles Dow teaches that. Pastor, Pastor Charles teaches that. And he, of course, the Toro. He's going to come straight. I like to call him a home run hitter. And that's going to cause a conflict anyway because of. Now, one thing I can say, they both agree on not teaching Christianity. And I tell anybody that's a Christian, if you go to Charles Dow Page as a Christian, you're going to leave his page. Or if, you, if, you, if you're strong enough to accept his teaching, you'll get woke up and you'll pretty much come out of Christianity because he do not teach that by long shot. Anybody know Charles Dow, you know what I'm talking about. Shout out to both of them. Shout out to um, Gino and Pastor Dow. Do I listen to <clears throat> uh, both of them? Like I said, yeah, answer the question again. Yeah, I've been listening to them for a while and I can agree with a lot of things both of them say. This is why I studied to show myself approved. Now, <clears throat> the thing is, you asked me about debating, okay? 
I'm going to tell you why I don't do this on my page, which is the Holy Spirit's page. I'd rather spend my plat. I I'd rather spend the Holy Spirit platform on trying to reach people and bring them to, you know, Yahshua. But I do understand why people do defend the gospel. But here's the thing about debating: it can lead into an argument that can lead into more and more things to happen, even fights. And this is why uh, who was that Paul? Apostle Paul in the New uh, New Covenant, he was talking to uh, the letters that he wrote to Timothy. I believe that was Timothy chapter two, around <clears throat> excuse my voice, around verse what is that twenty verse around verse twenty two or twenty verse twenty three. He was saying avoid foolish arguments, foolish debates and arguments, um, because it leads into quarrels, which is fights, and when you have people that sit up and debate all the time, which Gino, Pastor Gino does that a lot. He welcomes a debate. And if you go through his prayer, that's all you see a lot is just, you know, proving a point, proving a point, scripture by scripture. He going to hit you with scripture by scripture. But you got to ask yourself at the end of all that, what does it solve? Who's getting delivered? Who's getting saved? You know? And I'm not down talking to either one of these brothers in no kind of way. Like I say, I know I know Pastor Dad. We done spoke on the phone. Straightway truth. I've never spoken to um, Pastor Gino. Um, but I don't think it's going to solve anything. And I know a lot of people are waiting on it. Um, because a lot of people have been waiting on this to go down. Because like I say, when you say straightway truth. And when you when you say um, Pastor Gino Genius. Or some call him Apostle Gino Genius. Um, they like... They known out here of cutting you up with the word. So now you're going to come. I don't know if it's going to happen or not, but I've seen the, uh, I know, I know I've know. i seen the um, Pastor Dow show the letter. They have sent a letter to uh, to Pastor Gino Jennings and them church to accept and welcome that debate. He, like Pastor Dow said, a debate, an argument. You know, he say like he supposed to know the word and Gino supposed to know the word. So it's going to be a debate if it happens and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to happen because Gino don't run from nobody <laughs> and Pastor Dow don't run from nobody it's all it kind of remind me of an old, an old boxing match when everybody was was putting their money on Tyson versus Holyfield or Ali versus Foreman <laughs> back in the day you know but I just um I like I say when it comes to that debating and stuff man it's just it, it, it you got to realize you got people that's on the outside that's always watching and then another thing, and this is why a lot of people don't want to come into the faith, because they see stuff like that. Oh, man, he, he think he right. He think he right. It's bad enough that we got all this religion out here and tradition out here that keeps us divided up. You know, whether you go to church on Saturday or whether you go to church on Sunday, and you already know Pastor Dow is going to keep the law. He's going to go straight Toro on you. You you see, you see, look at his page all the time. You see the Sabbath. You see it, you see it, you know. Now you gonna you see a different thing with Gino. So like I said, I don't even know why they really gonna um get down with this little debate because they're not gonna change each other's mindset in no kind of way. But it's like I say, it's a lot of people out here waiting to be entertained with it. You ask me, am I am I gonna look at it? No. I don't care two cents for looking at it. I don't I don't care nothing for looking at debates, man, because in so many ways, like I said, it turns down, it, it turns down the body, man, to me. It's, this is just my opinion, man, because I already know how many people got their favorites. You know, that's why I say I know both of these brothers, and they, they powerful, man, they powerful. But I just pray that one day, man, a lot of the people that's big out here, man, and I'm not saying Pastor Dow don't do this, and Gino don't do this. I'm not around them 24-7, because I know they're expanding on the word. I'm just saying when it, when it comes to something like this, you have to be careful because it will really run a lot of people away. But those who like to be entertained, they're going to love it. But somebody like me, I don't care nothing for watching it because at, at, every day as the Holy Spirit waking me up, man, my job is to reach people, try my best to, to turn people to Yahshua, man, pray for them, encourage them. And I get I get um, invitations all the time about being debated on 
you know, with the Hebrew Israelite brothers out here who can't stand me. They, they welcome me to a challenge, and I just, nah, you can have it. Because like I, like I said as I close, ain't nobody finna change my mindset on what the Holy Spirit have showed me. And I'm not finna pretty much change nobody's mindset on what, what they believe in. And you can, that's just a long, ongoing argument that would never end if I was to get off in debates because I, I give you an example, man. When it comes to um, when it comes to talking about the Trinity, when it comes to talking about the Rapture, when it comes to talking about tithes and offering, when it comes to talking about marriage and divorce, when it comes to these hot topics about the Bible, when it when when it comes to pre-trib, post-trib, mid-trib, all this stuff is a long going argument, man. Because a lot of people' mind is set. And then you got these old holiness teachings out here that, that's that been going on for years. Like Pastor Dow was saying in this video, I totally agree with that. That sounds good, just like pre-trip. It sounds good, but it's not biblical. And you're going you're gonna to just, we call this proof text to guys when people want to get certain scriptures and prove their point. So... If it happens with Pastor Dowd and, and um, Gino, Pastor Gino Jennings, it's, it's going it's gonna to get some views. It's going to blow up because, like I say, it's 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 already out now about it happening. So, but I just pray, man, that it, it be if it happens, it be peacefully. Nobody get too mad, which I don't think it's going to happen anyway. You know, <laughs> I'm gonna give you something to laugh at for our club because just like Gino say he don't believe in guns and toting guns. That ain't the same with Pastor Dow. You better watch out. Because Pastor Dow got AK-47s, M16s, 9s, you name it. Swords, knives, guns. He probably got grenades hiding behind his desk. That's that's an old military vet right there. So that's why I always say it's just going to be a, it's gonna be an ongoing battle, man, argument. Because you got two different men for to sit down, man, and, and expound from different point of views that's probably not going to amount to nothing. Ain't nobody going to change their mindset on nothing. So they want to see who's going to be right and who's going to be wrong. But i tell you one thing as I wrap this video up. That's all knowing right there. The Holy Spirit is all knowing. And the Holy Spirit is all right. We as men will never get on that level that we know it all. I don't care how great of a teacher anybody think they are. We, we men, men got flaws. And keep that in mind. Nobody knows it all. And with that being said, much love to Gino and much love to Pastor Dow and everybody that's watching. Y'all have a wonderful, blessed day. Shalom.